Up against the mage. I keep load up against the mage. Don't want to coin out the mounted raptor on two. I very well might want to do that. Let's keep this hand. I keep load up in case this is freeze. And load up is still okay against the tempo as well. Do I play out the living roots? I guess I will. Him sure he can ping one of them now, but this gives me more options. Possible ways to deal three damage this turn as well. Okay, now this looks like a Reno Mage, maybe. Yeah, I guess I do want to use the coin. Raptor is so much stronger after all than Druid of the Saber. Let's trade there and hit face. Yeah, Lord is really really powerful. It's going to go away in a couple of months though, from standard. And it will be really interesting to see if there's some kind of replacement. Because if there's not, then the decks with decks with spells will be pretty powerful. I don't have a silence. That's annoying. I guess I can test for mirror entity. It's really unlikely to be mirror entity though. I don't want him to pop my raptor. I'm considering between hero power and attack the one one into it. Or then using something like living roots. I guess I'll go with hero power. If it's an ice barrier I will notice is freeze mage. I still don't know. I'll use the living roots here to test for counter spell. That way I will still have mana to play swipe next turn. In case this still turns out to be a tempo mage. But it doesn't know I found my silence. So I guess this is not tempo mage and that's not going to be... That just isn't going to be entity. It isn't ended. I guess it's ice block. I guess this is Reno Freeze. I just have to assume this is Reno Freeze. I really can't think what else it could be. Too bad I don't have Savage Roar. And that's Ice Barrier. Next turn he can Blizzard. So Blizzard is pretty pretty sweet against this board. But that's Ice Barrier, isn't it? Yeah, that's Reno Freeze, all right. Mm, wait, what? That was the second Novice Engineer. It can't be Reno Freeze. Confusing. I don't want to play the Druid of the Saber because... Because he could just Blizzard it away. I don't have a way to set up lethal yet either, so Lodeb is not that strong. I guess I can play a Lepanome. That deals some damage even though, even if he plays a Blizzard. But now I'm almost expecting a Blizzard here. Blizzard is so good against this board. Well, luckily at least the Raptors will pop and there will be two minions left. But still. That's 10 damage I have on the board. If I only had Savage Roar, then I could pop the block if he doesn't do something about this board, but obviously he's going to do something about it. I guess he doesn't have Blizzard then. Doomsayer, Frost Nova. Then I would silence the Doomsayer with the Keeper. Just play Taurisan. He might be contemplating just playing Taurisan. Taurisan is so powerful. I basically have to remove it if he has it. He might contemplate playing just Doomsayer without Frost Nova. Or does he have just so much burst in hand that he thinks that he's going to be able to kill me with just that? Now 
I won't be able to prevent the re-block. But I guess I will have to use load up here. To ensure that I get to pop the first block at least. Then I'll see how I can manage with the re-block. I have swipe, I have keeper of the grove. Now he shouldn't be able to freeze this board. I just go with the doomsayer. Now I want to pop him at one. Can I pop him and save my board? That's the question here, I guess. I guess I will do it with swipe. Now let's do it with swipe. Then the two, one. Zero. Actually, oh, whoa, 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 I almost screwed that up. I almost screwed that up. Yeah, Mr. Papa Smurf, you're absolutely correct. You are absolutely correct. You are absolutely correct. I very nearly screwed that up. Placing all cards. Now I have Finley, but I don't know if this is Tempo or Freeze. So I don't know what kind of hero power I would like. I don't think I want to play Finley out, because I don't know what I want to do with him. Makes me think this is a freeze mage. Let's try with the aspirant anyway. See if he has removal. Mages usually have removal. But if he doesn't, then I can play Shredder. And if he does, I can still play Raptor. So, either way, I'll be fine. Do I want to protect my Shredder? Now he's going to go after the Aspirant anyway. He has to go after the Aspirant. He has to go after the Aspirant so the Shredder is safe, regardless. Now we just want to know if this is Freeze Mage or if this is Tempo. And if he got the Ice Barrier, then I will know. I was just thinking if I want to kill whatever he gets if it, if it is Entity. Do I test first if to see if, if it's size barrier, or do I test for entity first? Because I would like to play the raptor this turn, that's why I wouldn't like to hero power. I will test for ice barrier first. It's freeze mage. Okay, now that that is out of the way, let's see if we can get a useful hero power. Armor up sounds pretty good to me. Let's play the Raptor. Okay, now we know what we're up against. Don't have a silence, so I have nothing I can have nothing I can do against against Frost Nova Doomsayer. That's a little bit annoying. I guess I want to kill Talnos anyway. It gives him a draw, but I want to spell damage away. What if he's going to play Frost Nova Doom, say, next turn? I wouldn't like to lose the Druid of the Claw into that. So I'm just going to play the Druid of the Saber and Hero Power. Start, start building up that armor a little bit to give me a little bit of leeway. First, Nova Doomsayer still leaves me to two minions. Oh, he's going to coin out, coin out a blizzard. Okay. I did not consider that possibility.
playing this as charge or as taunt. I guess taunt is better. Yeah, he did ping the shredder, but there was also the possibility that he was bluffing. So... When you start to think about it, okay, maybe the opponent is bluffing me, then you get into these really strange situations. It's all so much easier when you think that, okay, they're going to do exactly what what they look like they're doing. Okay, another barrier. Let's see. He's at 22. What if I Leroy Savage Roar? Well, he might clear or freeze before that, but... 9, 11... Yeah, that would be easily enough. Well, but that freeze guarantees that it won't. And now he got a nice block up. That's good for him. Yeah, there's no way I can do that much. Even if I play the swipe here, that puts him to 18 and then I can attack for 2. Put him to 16, he's still outside combo range. But the real question here is, do I want to play the swipe? Or do I want to play Leroy? If I play Leroy and Hero Power, I can do 8. Put him to 14. I guess it's time to do that. Put him to 14, that gives me a possibility to maybe pop the block with the combo. Yeah, now I get to pop the first block. Now he might Alex Traza himself, he might have a heal but he might have another block. But what are you going to do? I mean, if I want to win this game, I have to pop the block at some point. Okay, so he had Alex Traza. That's probably the best thing he could have. But I can still respond with Sylvanas. And I can kill off the one once. To make it more likely that I will actually steal Alex Traza if it comes to that. Remove the one once from the equation. He might try to feed me a Doomsayer here, for example. That's obviously possible. Yeah, he's trying to feed me a Doomsayer. And that's the second block because he already. Yeah. I could kill that Doomsayer though. Kill the Doomsayer or hit face for 5. Put him to 6. That's a pretty rough choice. I think I will hit face for 5. Let none survive. Let's see if, if I can draw something more that, that will help me. no more secrets but he just might have enough I need to have something that charges but even then he has the other block okay now I can pop the block 
Well, I could save the power of the wire, but that doesn't help me in any way. I guess I will use everything. Where shall I strike? Then I can also pop him at 1 HP. Another night on the That's the second block gone. Can I top deck? Well, I have living roots. Do I still have two copies of living roots and one copy of swipe in my deck? I'm not sure. I need to top deck something like that in order to win this. Anything that does damage. Like a force of nature. Well, I had a lot of faults in there. Phew. That was a pretty close one. Thank you for watching. For more action, please visit my YouTube channel. And if you like what you see, remember to subscribe.